that every one of you here this morning told my life story in a few seconds. Like Charles Wilson said in the song, I'm blessed. Yeah. 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 After my message to you this morning, I hope someone here who wants to know more about my daughter, the Almighty God. Yeah. This story is forever. I want to thank my pastor, Dr. Reverend McKinnon Thibodeau, for giving me this opportunity to deliver the 2017 Men's Day message. Men standing strong. Even as a shy man, a quiet man, a man of few words, with all the things my God has done for me over my lifetime. And believe me, the list is very I will never pass up an opportunity to lift up the name yeah. I'm glad he waited to tell you something in God's word before he called us to me. Because as much as silence was, true growth takes time. At this time, I would like my family to say, <laughs> As you can see, we are starting to fill up the pews. <laughs> With your praise. As God has blessed my beautiful wife for 46 years and a half. With four children, 15 grandchildren, and two great grandchildren. Who are members and future members of Asia Baptist Church. The biggest of the church. I want to thank our co-chair of all the Wednesday activities, Reverend Newton and Brother Doug Jackson, for their encouragement. As true Christians, we become disciples of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We get stronger and stronger as we learn more about God and about God's Word. His Word is powerful. And it changed his life. The mission of the Asian Baptist Church is to gather and grow and send forth strong disciples of Jesus Christ. It fits our theme today men standing strong. Look at me as a product of the Asian Baptist Church. In 13 years, I went from a deacon. Who would go into a panic mode when other deacons wasn't here to do the devotion and the morning prayer. <laughs> so here I am now with our pastor having the confidence in me to deliver a message to the Lord to you this morning. And for this, I thank you. When you want to grow, and learn more about God and Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. He will put people around you to help you along, answer your questions, lead you in the right direction, and give you encouragement. People like Brother Thibodeau, Brother Elijah Mobley, who has been mentoring me since I was first became a teacher. Rodney Trainer, who I knew in my high school days, and we are now at the same church. And Freddie Donaldson, whose brother I went to elementary school with, growing up in St. Bernard Project. I would like to personally thank Mr. Bridges, who were Reverend Bridges, took all the kids who live by their house and introduced them to God. They would take us to church with their kids, never be. Andre and Julia <laughs> every Sunday morning. My sister Mary and I, along with Patricia Parker Wilson and Tony Sackberry, 
for some of those kids. We are all now members of age. Okay. I thank Reverend Richard personally before he passed on for baptizing me Amen. and getting me off on the right track. It really felt good. I'll tell you later how I became a member of age. Now to the team. Men standing strong. The scripture, the scripture for the day is in the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 9. Have I not commanded thee? Be strong and look courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee. Whithersoever thou goest. God told Joshua to be strong. In verse 9, be strong in verse 6 and 7. God is telling Joshua to keep his faith strong. Trust his word and do as he commanded him to do. Because he wants him to lead the Israelites into the promised land. In verse 5, he told him, No man will be able to stand up against you as long as you live because I will be with you. I will not fail you or leave you. Be strong. I want to focus on the word strong and our will stay being. That's the definition says physically powerful, healthy, morally and intellectually powerful, a strong will have a powerful effect. Strong is an adjective that describes someone or something. Here's how the world sees a strong man. One with a civil body, bald and muscles, and able to move and lift heavy objects. But it takes hard work to have a strong body like that. You need to alter your diet, eat protein to build up your muscles, to exercise like money, biking, do sit-ups, push-ups, lift weights, and in some cases, take pills. I want to be a strong man, but I don't work that hard. <laughs> there is an easier way to be a strong man. Joke is easy and it's Here's how I see a strong man. I see a strong man as a man standing on the word of God. Because the word of God is power. Power means you are strong and can move things. God's word is strong enough to change lives. The more you know about God's word, Stronger your sense than me. His word changed my life. That's why at the Age of Baptist Church, we have Sunday morning service, elementary service, Sunday school, Bible study, prayer service, to learn more about God and to be able to stand strong. Now, Joshua was a strong man. His faith was strong. He trusted God. He was obedient to God's word. It's what God said of all of his children. Joshua was born into slavery, into Egyptian slavery. He studied under Moses for 40 years in the wilderness. Joshua was Moses' successor to lead the Israelites into the promised land. God chose Joshua because of his faithfulness and obedience. Joshua won all his battles because God was with him. 